All right, today we are talking about would you bend, okay? I don't know if you guys saw my live unboxing the other day, but I'm actually a brand ambassador for Would You Bend, and I'm super excited because not only am I going to be a brand ambassador, but I'm going to be a retailer. I've got some products that are coming in. I've got my heat gun plugged up. That's the noise that you hear. I'm sorry. Um, and I don't know if what you guys know about Would You Bend, but it is a fabulous new product that's on the market. Um, I showed you guys in my unboxing the other day. These are some of the pieces that have come in that are the bomb diggity, okay? They're amazing. And the difference is Would You Bend is called that because it bends, all right? So, um, Heather Marzigliano, my girl from uh, New Jersey up Grace on Broadway, she is also a brand ambassador and we could not be more excited about this. And this product is so great because you use wood glue to apply it, which sounds like every other piece of wood, right? All of the little things you can do. This is called Would You Bend because guess what? It bends. And not only that, but I'm going to do a Would You Bend giveaway when my product comes in, but I wanted you guys to see it. I am going to show you how it works. I have a piece of cardboard here so that we don't damage our little thing because we're going to heat this up a little. And I'm going to show you what it does. Now, you guys see it's stiff at this point. But we're going to heat it up. And I'm going to show you some other pieces. In the case you did not see my unboxing the other day, I want you to see how great this is. We're going to turn the heat up on this thing. All right. Just that quick, look at this. It bends. How flipping awesome is that? It can be sanded. It can be stained. Look at this. It can be wrapped around something, and once you attach it with wood glue, that's it. Once you attach it with wood glue, that is it. It becomes just like your piece of furniture. Look at this. Once it cools off, it is hard again. How amazing is that? If you have friends that are looking to add little details to their pieces, it comes in all kinds of things. Okay, we've got a couple of these. These are 1723 part number. Look at these. How great would these be in the corner of something? The number of this one is 2102. And look at these little flowers. These roses are amazing. The detail is unbelievable. Uh, it's just crazy good. And I showed you this. I got to tell you, this is amazeballs to me. How many pieces could you put this on? Unbelievable. Look at this little gears. I didn't take them out of the bag because if I do, I know me, I will lose the heck out of these things. Look at these. Do a cute little steampunk piece. And how great would these be? And I love this. Because you know what I think? What if we put some gilding wax on this or something like that? What? How beautiful would that be? It's part number 1711. So... But this is the part that I'm loving. Now, I actually took a piece off. It, it comes in a piece like this, and I took a piece off so I could explain to you guys. Let's say you're doing this. I'm going to heat it up so that you guys can see. It's like a piece of trim, but I'm going to heat it up so you guys can see how great it is. Got to get it. Got to get my heat gun all heated back up here. It's you know how many pieces do you get that has no details for you to highlight. Um, the desk that we've been working on, you know, had some great little details on it. Okay, there we go. Look at this. See, it just straightens right back out. I can glue this on, and once I have glued it on my piece, then I have beautiful details to highlight. How many times would you really like to create details on your piece, and maybe it needs a piece like this, or a piece like this. And see, I took this off of my little coil there, and you think, oh, well, it's broken now. No, all I have to do is push it back up against each other with some wood glue, and it's one continuous piece. So if you buy a coil and it's not enough, all you have to do is put them together while they're warm with a little bit of wood glue, and boom, there you go. It is unbelievable to me the combinations that you can come up with. And like I say, all it takes is heating this up a little bit. It is unbelievable. And I mean, I brought, I've got this piece here in front of me, and I'm going to back you guys up and show you. It, 
if you've got a piece like this, look at how plain this little buffet is. You could take pieces like this and add them on the doors. You could take roses and add on here in a cluster, or you could take pieces like this and add them in there, or you could even take smaller pieces like this and put them on the front of the drawer. And once you do that, you have updated your piece of furniture and you have given it details that it didn't have before that can be sanded. Oh, cut my head off, sorry. That can be sanded, that can be stained, that you can do just about anything that you want to to it. You can paint them, but what I like is I can heat these up, put them wherever I want. I can bend them around the edges, bend them around a corner or whatever. Then I can even stain them if I want to. And most of the time, you can't bend it if you can stain it, right? This one is bendable and stainable, and all it takes is a heat gun. You can do it with a blow dryer. You can do it with whatever you want to. The, the trim like this, you can lay it on a griddle and heat it up so that you can heat up the whole thing at the same time. And see, I want you to watch how quickly this takes. Cut this back up. Watch, look at that. How crazy good is that? Just that quick, it starts heating up and bending. So, I wanted you guys to see, because I am gonna not only be a brand ambassador, I'm gonna be a retailer, and I wanted you to know it is gonna be available here. I'm gonna have them all up on the website as soon as they come in, but I wanted you to see just how easy it is to use. Now, it's better if you don't use something like E6000 to attach it or hot glue or something like that. You want to use wood glue because this is a wood product, okay? It's called Wood You Bend. Um, it is new to the market, and I really want you guys to take a minute and just... It's so amazing. Heather Marzigliano did a live a while back where she added it to a, uh, a piece of furniture, and I've got to tell you, she put several of these on there, and you would not believe how great it looked. Yet, yeah, Gorilla Wood Glue is fabulous to do that with. So, I just wanted to take a minute and do my live because there are so many. They're big pieces. They're little pieces. They're accent pieces like this. There's accent pieces like that. And like I say, I'm going to get together. I'm going to cobble together a little package and I'm going to do a giveaway when it comes in because I want you guys to be able to get your hands on this and try it. I am going to put them all up on my site, but I just wanted you guys to see what is coming. It is going to be totally amazing what you can do to your pieces, especially if you have um, just something plain like this one. This belongs to a customer and I'm not going to put it on this one. I just wanted to use it as an example. Because when you've got all of these details, it totally changes the way you can update your piece. You add what looks like carving onto your piece. It can be sanded, it can be stained, it can be painted. So much can be done to it. And like our little desk that we've been working on, once you get it painted, you can use wax, you can use glaze, you can use whatever you want to. You can dry brush, you can use gilding wax, you can use Prima wax. There's so many things you can do to it. And see, you don't have to choose. You can use a trim like this on the edges. Like I said, I took this piece off so you can see it up close out. But then there's also trim like this, and I've got several different styles of wider trim coming in. I mean, it's unbelievable what you're gonna be able to do with this. So if you guys haven't seen it, I'm actually gonna put some information up today on my website so that you can see uh, more information about Would You Band. Chris, you are going to love it. Chris buys from me all the time, and I gotta tell you, you are going to love, love, love this. Um, there's over 3,000 designs available. Needless to say, I'm not gonna have all 3,000, but I'm hoping to have about 50 or 60 different styles available. But just to give you an idea, I am gonna put some more information up on the website because I really want you guys, I have not been this excited about a product in a long time. It's just one of those things that there's nothing else like it on the market. I mean, there's absolutely nothing else like it on the market. I've never seen anything that you can heat up. I mean, the molds you can do some with, but I want something I can sand and stain and stuff like this. And the fact that I can stain these is balls. 
because I can stain them before I attach them if I want to. So there's so many opportunities for you to update your pieces. I hope you've enjoyed this little presentation. Like I say, don't forget tomorrow at 6 p.m., we're gonna be doing a live. We're going to go over some more things about spraying because a lot of you guys had questions. I am going to pull out the Wagner sprayer because some of you had questions about that. And I'm gonna show you the Wagner sprayer along with the Graco sprayer because I want you guys just to see the difference and see what a difference it makes. I am gonna go over some more things about the Wagner because a few of you guys have bought the Wagner recently. And I want you to see how you can kind of dial it in and make it spray better for you. And we're going to talk viscosity because I want you to see how to test your viscosity before you start spraying. You always, always, always test viscosity. We strain our paint. Always, always, always. And we're going to be talking some more about would you be in in the near future because I have a project that we're going to work on next week so that you guys can see what it looks like when it's been attached to a piece of furniture. I've got a great piece that really has no detail whatsoever, but it's going to have when we get finished. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. I hope you have a great Saturday evening. I hope you're going to do something fun, and I will see you tomorrow at 6 p.m. See ya!